if tattoo machines or tattoo pens were cars, this is definitely a BMW. It's stylish, it's sleek, it's aggressive, it's balanced. And it breaks down. But let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tan, and today we are going to talk about the very beautiful, elegant, sleek looking. I mean, look at this. Ooh. Masked armor, guys. Now, let's talk about prices. On their actual website, which is Dragon Dragon Hawk Official, it is $179. Uh, you get four color options: black, red, pink, and green, and this is the only thing that changes color. I have the black obviously and um, Aliexpress is the same deal 179 for all colors free shipping on their website free shipping on Aliexpress because it qualifies it's over a hundred dollars <sighs> excuse me guys <sighs> okay this features a 3.5 millimeter stroke on a aluminum a stylish aluminum chassis I might add uh, the operating voltage is as low as let me see go down five can you see it all the way up to Jesus Christ, what is this? 12 volts. God. Now that's uh that's quite some balls. You print you turn it on simply by pressing the power button once. You don't have to press and hold, just simply press it. Turn it off, turn it on. So it's always on standby mode, that means your battery is gonna drain, but who cares? You, there's a type C charger right here so that means you can ch share if you're an Android user you can share your robot your Android juice with this robot dong and on top of that guess what guys bum 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 Dragonhawk was nice enough to include this charger right here which actually has its own cable embedded into the machine now it's not the longest cable but hey it's a start they're, it, it's, they're thinking about you know this is this is innovation at its finest this is what I mean by this is definitely the BMW of machines because there's so many features little features that you know we take for granted that they are actually offering they give you spare parts like disposable grips two of them in in two different sizes fatty not so fatty I'm not gonna give you the exact sizes on this because I don't care because I'm never gonna use these as you shouldn't either unless you plan to get rid of them but then you'll have two empty slots in your container so I'm just gonna leave them there uh, in a pinch those those guys will work for sure in this box you get a charging cable an extra battery o-rings and the charging cable for your machine yeah so I already said charging cable and it's got these nice little purple accents let me see if it'll focus focus it's got these purple accents on there very rad come on get back in there dude come on what are you doing just just, just get back in the box dude stop being difficult just get in the box there we go By the way, this box actually came like this. It was actually busted up like this. Um, 
it's like they couldn't get the, the shit in there themselves. They're like, ah, fuck it, just throw it in there. Just put it in there, send it, send it. So that's that. Uh, the batteries are 1,800 milliamp hours. It has a ratchet style grip. Very satisfying. Oh, oh, oh. Enough about that, you damn weirdos. Anyway, yeah, you also get two L keys. Uh, one is to access the actual motor inside, and one is to access the battery. So you put the L key into this little hole right here. Swoop. Spin counterclockwise, lefty loosey. Oh, my glove just busted. Let me get a replacement, guys. Yes, I know I have clear gloves, and that's because I'm running low on my nitro, nitro, nitrile, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The doctor shall see you now. Are you ready for that uh, procedure? Enough of that, guys. Hope you guys like my Russian accent. That was probably racist. I apologize to anybody who's Russian. I did not mean to insult anybody. Um, anyway, let's, uh, where were we? Right, so, you put this L key into this hole, turn it lefty-loosey, Spin this lefty loosey and it shoots out. And there is your battery, guys. Bam. So you get two of these 1800 milliamp hours, it says so right there somewhere. Small letters. Um, twist clockwise. Turn clockwise on the screw. Hand tight. and your shit is good to go. Got to open the battery and take it apart. Cuz you know how you, if you've ever if you've ever had to do anything on a BMW, then you know something like an air filter is just a pain in the ass. There's a shit ton of shit you got to do. This machine is no different and this is why I mean this machine is like a BMW. You need to take this Elkin put it in that little hole right there you have to spin it counterclockwise like so and it's not over you have to spin the grip counterclockwise until it comes apart wait it's still still on there still gripping the machine Sure that's off there you go so see that and it's loose and then your battery comes off negative towards the top of the machine positive towards the bottom of the machine and now to close it up you have to spin it clockwise then click your heel three times. Nah, don't do that. I have... I have a rant about this, okay? I have to say something about this... This system that they have in place, you know what I mean? This... This... System. Simple screw-on cap would have been nice. You know what I mean? No tool is required. Look at Excellence Design. You don't screw anything on. You twist and pull. Twist on and it's on. Whatever. Twist on, twist off. Let's, let's look at this other system. Well, this is not so much... Uh, this isn't exactly wireless. But look how easy this system is. Messed. Battery. Wow, guys, look at that. And I know I said I like I like it to look uniform, 
but or I like my machine, my batteries so that they're part of the machine. That that kind of looks like it's part of the machine, doesn't it? I'm gonna make a review on this battery because this is this is something interesting. Um, my beef with this is there's plenty of machines that you can simply twist off the cap, take the battery out or like this one the battery comes right off or you simply just unscrew the battery the whole top unit is the battery and you unscrew it why the fuck do I need a fucking L key to remove my battery Dragon Hawk the fuck are you people thinking seriously what are you people thinking out there at Dragon Hawk when you guys are designing this shit I know it's just a nitpick. I, I know it's not serious. You know what I mean? But why the fuck do I need an L key in 2021 when I can just when I should be able to just either twist the battery off? Because clearly you guys saw that the motor stays inside this part of the machine. Look at this guy. Motors in there. Batteries right here. Easy. I don't need a fucking L key, Dragon Hawk. I don't need to carry more shit. I don't need to add more shit to my arsenal. Shit I don't need, like this retarded little thing right here. This, this is fucking stupid. Let's get back on track, guys. Now, uh, the things I like about this machine. Oh, you can't find this machine on Amazon. And until you, you do I don't recommend you pick it up anywhere other than Amazon because Amazon actually honors their return policy. Uh, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros, this machine is balanced, looks beautiful. Ratchet style grip, I. Uh, the needle stays in one position, or it's supposed to. That is what this little mechanism is for this guy right here this keeps the needle in one position while you're adjusting the grip what do i mean by that ten what do you mean by that i can't demonstrate it because this this grip is faulty it does not hold the cartridges that's what i mean by this is a bmw you buy it and it immediately starts to break down i know i own a bmw i own a volvo um, basically every European car I've ever owned, aside from my Volvo, no, my Volvo too, is giving me some fucking faults, you know, like, um, I canceled my XM subscription and now for some weird reason my battery's dying and I looked it up, it says that because that XM radio thing is always looking for signal, so even when the car is off, it is looking for XM radio all the time, so it kills my battery, that's stupid, besides the point, guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, the cons, the grip doesn't work. <sighs> Check this out, guys. So, uh, was I on cons or was I on, on pros? I think I'm still in pros, right? So yeah, it, it, the, the needle is supposed to stay in one position while you're adjusting. Um, that's what that little spinning piece is, is for. Uh... That's it for the for the pros, guys. It's a beautiful machine, and the needle stays in one position. And you get all those little features in the box. Charger, cable, extra grips that I'm probably and you're probably never going to use. But this is... Let's, let's hop right into cons, guys. Excuse me. I'm gassy this morning. Weird. All right, guys. Check this out, all right? The needle isn't here. It, it, it doesn't even fucking... I don't know if it'll focus. Go and grab the needle. I can do this. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right there, it's on, right? It's on? Yeah, yeah, you see it? Boom, look, I can pull it out. Flux. Right? Right?
right? This one won't, do, it, will, it will not do it. Oh, almost dropped it. Let me do it from a, a, a further distance. Okay, look at this. Yep. So my grip doesn't hold cartridges. That is uh, the main beef, but let me take off the grip so I can show you what this what it's supposed to be doing. You see this little mechanism right here? Let it focus, there we go. See that? That turning mechanism right there? See that? That spinning part? The very top? Okay, so that basically keeps your, your needle or this acts as a sleeve, right? So when the grip is turning, it doesn't have to it doesn't have to turn with the uh, with the actual machine. So that means the needle stays in place while you're turning the grip or adjusting the needle throw or hang, needle hang. So what it means is that let's say a machine's like this one. Okay, look at what happens when I adjust the grip or the throw. See that? The needle spins with the grip. On this guy, that wouldn't be the case. If it worked, I'd be able to show you guys that, but it doesn't grab the needle. Okay, there, it kind of grabbed it. Okay, so look. Let's hope it doesn't shoot it out of my camera. I'm gonna adjust the grip and the needle's gonna stay in the same position, right? See it? The needle staying in the same position. But look how weak this is. I can actually just pull the needle right off. See this? Look at that. The needle sticks out when you put the, the cartridge into the machine. Look at that. Can you see it? Eh. Let me show you with another cartridge. Just to show you, it's not the, not the cartridge. Look at this. Focus, you damn camera. Focus. Come on, T7i. There we go. Look at that. E, e, e. One more. Let's do one more, guys. E, 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 e. That should not be happening at all. That's dangerous. A guy on uh, on one of the videos commented saying, stating just that. And I told him, I have never had that happen to me. And it, to this day, it hasn't happened to me. This is kind of that, but not that exactly. Um, this is basically faulty from the beginning, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. The needle just sticks out, guys. Look at this, look at this. You see it? E. 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 That is a definite con dragon hawk that is not acceptable you don't ship a machine that does that you did you not test these is there no quality control for this your other machines are fine you couldn't do quality control on this thing come on man another thing these select cartridges are very tight to get into machines okay i'm going to show you something this is my mast flash right i have to fight that cartridge to get it in there but it's on it's on nice and tight guys mast flip again i have to fight this cartridge to get it on there but it's on guys it's fucking on xnet flux Look at that. It's on, guys. It's fucking on. This guy. On. But, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. It's on, right? But look how easily. Notice the position of the, of the, of the needle. Look how easily I can take this out. 
One small gain. On. Off. What? Trash. <sighs> Again, if you guys find it on Amazon, pick it up on Amazon because Amazon will, will gladly honor the return policy. Dragon Hawk has not gotten back to me. It's been like four days and they still haven't gotten back to me. So I might be stuck with this machine that doesn't work. Um, I'm a little bummed out about it because I really wanted to like this machine. I mean, it's beautiful. It's balanced. You know, the LCD is bright and the, the, the buttons are, are, you know, nice and responsive. Like, look at this. The, I like the... I like the fact that you press it once and it turns off, press it again and it turns on. I don't have to press and hold. I wish it I really wanted to like this machine, guys. I really, I really did. I wish it did work. Um, but that's it for the review, guys. If you guys like the video, hit a like. If you guys... Wait, wait, wait. No, that's not it. That's not it. Don't go anywhere. That's not it. Should you pick up this machine? No. Pick this guy up. That guy's good from my experiences. Pick this guy up. This guy's good. It works, but there's a wireless version, which I prefer, which I haven't bought because it came out like a month after this one. So I was as heard about it. Pick this guy up, XNF Flux. Uh, I have a video on this machine. It'll come up right here if you're new to the channel. What's up, new? Uh, link will come up for the XNF Flux. I have a review on this machine, the Dragon Hawk flip switch come up right here somewhere I have, a I have a review on this machine so should you pick up the the masked armor as of right now from my personal experiences I would say no because of what happened to me once you find it on Amazon hop on it because you know you're it could be that my piece is back that it's just my piece that's messed up you know what I mean so it could be an amazing machine and I just can't review it or I can't put it to the test because of that. Now, I don't like to do unboxing videos because they're fucking pointless as fuck. There's no, there's no, I see no point in me unboxing a, a, a tattoo machine in front of you and telling you, oh man, this is what you get in the box. Hell yeah, go pick it up. That makes no sense, especially if you don't, if you don't have the money, a lot of money and the reason you're looking at these tattoo pens or these type of machines is because you're you're kind of tight on money you want somebody to give you actual facts on how the machine runs you know can it tattoo so I, I i usually like to take my time with the machine at least minimum two weeks so that i can i can get three tattoos into it or, or more whatever i whatever amount of tattoos i can get into it within those um those weeks um you know what i mean uh I can give you an honest opinion like that, you know what I mean? Because I've used it, I've tattooed with it. But with this guy, I haven't used it, I have not tattooed with it. Um, I can't give you that review, guys. So I cannot recommend this machine as of now. I cannot recommend it. I cannot, I cannot say anything on it. I can't tell you anything on it other than the experiences I've had so far with it. So does this count as an actual re review? Probably not, guys. And you guys might want to check out another YouTuber who also has this machine and has used it or is using it because I have not used it for tattooing because of that grip and I feel like I'm failing you guys and I do apologize but that's out of my control guys um, and that's it for the review guys for reals this time pick it up if you get if you can get it on Amazon pick it up if you have to get it to their actual website Dragon Hawk official avoid it because it's been four days and they still have not gotten back to me AliExpress, you have a better chance of getting an answer on AliExpress. Like you can actually, they have a, a section where you can request a refund and you know submit information and all that. Um, uh, versus on the website, the Dragon Hawk official, there's there's nothing. All you can all you can do is contact them via email and that's it, and wait for an answer. I'd probably pick it up through um, Amazon as soon as it becomes available, if it becomes available, and if it doesn't. There are machines on Amazon that are available, available like the Lancer, the Archer. These are all great machines that, you know, perform just like this. They all have the same 3.5 stroke, the same motor. The, the only difference on this one is that this one has that, 
the battery but you know what i mean in, in today's in today's day and age like you don't look at machines to see which one's better you look at which at machines to see what makes them different you know what i mean because again they perform kind of the same nowadays you know what i mean um so yeah guys should you pick it up based on my experiences i would say no because <clears throat> i can't give you an honest review on it so i can't i can't recommend it i can't tell you go get it and i can't tell you don't get it i can't tell you anything and the only reason i'm making this video is to show you that i really wanted to make a review for you guys but this is what i received and dragon hawk is not getting has not gotten back to me so uh, I'm, I'm trying to show you that I am trying to stay up to date with the machines so I can you know with the latest and the latest machines that are dropping or or coming out so I can give you my reviews or my honest opinion on them but with this machine it just didn't work out guys and I do apologize for that but that being said that's it for the review if you guys liked it hit a like if you guys dislike it hit a dislike if you guys have any questions or comments put in the comments uh, yeah guys that's it for the review i hope you guys take it easy and as always thank you for stopping by and peace